Okay, I'm going to get your names and your titles. Steve Doucette, executive producer and co-writer. Yellow Rock. Lenore Andriel, producer, writer, female lead actress of Yellow Rock. Nick Vallelonga, director, producer, Yellow Rock. Okay, I think that tells us we are interviewing on Yellow Rock. Okay, you guys. So I'm going to ask you a little bit. I'll move the mic around and we'll do that. But whose idea was behind Yellow Rock, how it started, and just give me a little background on the film that you're bringing to us for Lake Arrowhead Film Fest. Actually, um, we had a different, a similar idea, but it was a contemporary film. And then it was Steve's idea to make it into a Western. And we, I thought that was a fabulous idea. We wrote the story, and then we started to do the research. And when we did the research on Native Americans, this is a Native American Western, we saw on all the atrocities that had happened throughout all the ages, and especially in California, when the gold rush happened, and all through the rest of the 1800s. So we came up with the idea of a film called Yellow Rock about a tribe that actually does not exist, that was emblematic of all the tribes that had been killed and the reasons why. How long did it take to get this film going and um, from, from the initial thought process to bringing it to fruition and the first time that it came on screen? You know, we actually banged out the script in about two weeks after we got the story down, um, but we did research for months. You know, because we wanted to make this a message movie, you know, from the eyes of the Native Americans and put a different kind of a twist on your typical Western. How'd the filming go? How, what were some of the challenges and um, that kind of thing? Is a couple of years going? You, well, you, I know you can't tell me everything. Yeah, I know how that goes. Is that a trick question? Uh, they wrote a very ambitious script. It was great. I mean, it was an amazing script. But, you know, we're independent, low-budget films, so then they said, film this to me and I was like so uh, it was challenging but you know I, I, uh, I've worked in independent film before I know how to shoot fast you know it was a little harder though because you had horses and guns and we were out there in 118 to 20 degrees for a few days so we shot the film in 12 days or we had a 13th day of, of an extra day but uh, I think what we pulled off was pretty uh, amazing for what we had to work what, um, okay, so they probably told you make this with zero budget, but what did, can, do you share, can you share the budget of what it took, or numbers still aren't all in? Let's see. Um, I got, Mortgage your house? I have more in my pocket, really, than, than that. But um, it, it wasn't much. It was a low budget SAG agreement. It was the lowest budget possible that we could make a SAG film. So uh, we all pulled in a lot of favors uh, with a lot of professionals. And I think that's why it looks as good as it does, because everyone really, you know, Lenore wrote a great script with a great message. So the message part is in there. Everyone wanted to get that across. I wanted to kill everybody and shoot everybody. So you have a little bit of both. You that because it was like Cowboy and Indian, right? You got a little killing. Okay. Got some of that energy out of there. So how important is it for any of you to, to bring film to independent film festivals versus even if it did make the great market that you want to have it distributed, but how important is it to kind of stay close to some of the independent film? I mean, for, for me personally, and I know I can speak for Steve and then Nick can talk also, but I've always loved film festivals. As an actor, I've been in a lot of films that were in film festivals, so where they didn't get the opportunity to maybe get a release or a theatrical release, if it was a great message to the film or really well done, they had a forum. So I've always believed in film festivals, and because this has such a heavy, heartfelt message to it, we felt that, you know what, yes, it's very commercial, but this would be a great home in the festival circuit for it as well. You know, that brings up a question to, that I am always curious. You get filmmakers, directors, producers, but how important is it for an actor to make sure that they come and make these connections at these independent film festivals? Because, I mean, everyone has to start somewhere. So I imagine it's independent film that we're going to start as an actor. Yeah, that's, that's actually how I started as an actress, was I was in independent films. And through that, and doing leads in these films that sometimes were offbeat or message-oriented, I was able to meet people, people like Nick, that I worked with and other people, and call them all together so that we were able to then make this film. And it's through everyone's efforts, the Values A Movie Ranch and Caravan West that supplied all the props and the horses because they believed in the film that we were able to put this all together. So this kind of a market is extremely, it's so important 
to continuing on and we want to support film festivals all the time to keep other filmmakers being able to do the same thing. And then I'm going to ask you, what do you like about Lake Arrowhead Film Festival? What's this different about any other film festival you've been to so far? Well, first of all, people. There's some great young filmmakers here, so it's great being here. It's beautiful up here in the mountains. So the whole experience is just great. You know, you're getting a chance to meet other filmmakers that have the same desires that we have. It's fun. So it's always good to network like that. Have you made some, oh, <laughs> Nick, have you made some great connections here? Already I've made some great connections. I met you. <laughs> that's really, I can go home now, pretty much. No, but that's, this, you know, festivals sometimes can be pretentious. You know, the people are there for themselves and they're there for their movie. This one is a little bit different. Everyone's friendly. Everyone's supporting everyone else's films. Like, I'm going to go, so we're all going to go see a bunch of other films. People are saying they're coming to see our films. And that's what, that's why you're in a festival, because it, it, it helps the independent filmmaker to get your movie seen, to meet people, to make connections, but also to make you want to go out and do another one. So this particular one, we're honored to be in it. And, uh, it's, it's very, very special to be here for us. We're honored to be here and have you guys, and we're honored to have your film really on Sunday morning for the screening. I'm looking forward to it as well as everybody else. But um, is there anything you guys want to share that I didn't touch on real quick for... Um, I mean, just we we feel that this was actually a wonderful vehicle, a wonderful festival for us because this is native and non-native films, and we were in other native films. We've been in Western uh, Native American film festivals. We were in Western film festivals. This is for us a really great forum because we want to not just preach to the choir, so to speak. We want to be able to speak to people that have it within their heart to be open to the message of the Native American voice. And at the same time, people that are not used to going to Native American film festivals, they're coming to film festivals. So for us, it's the best of all worlds. We love it here. This has been a fabulous experience so far. It really has. Are you going to come back? Absolutely. Absolutely. What room we have already reserved for us? Or? I'll keep it open for you. <laughs> Are you going to ask us back? That's the question. Absolutely. Bring us your next project. We're on tape now. We're going to hold you to that. We can't get out of it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. I'm excited for Sunday. Let me know if you need anything. Thank you guys. Okay. Thanks for coming back. Thanks, so Thanks you guys. Thank you.